Hi, my name's Danny and this is my daughter and we are from a project called Weeby Kids. Weeby Kids provides nature-based resources to help families connect with nature and boost their well-being. Today we've come foraging for wild garlic and we've come to a place called Ramsbottom in the northwest of England because Ramsbottom is named after this amazing plant, the ramson. And today we're going to forage some ramson and we're going to show you how we can make some campfire cooked calzones. There are some sights and scents that really signify the start of spring for me and wild garlic is certainly one of them. It's easy to identify because of its pungent smell and all parts, the bulb, the leaf and the flower are edible, making this perfect for the beginner forager. So along with our wild garlic, we're going to need a few more ingredients to make these calzone pizzas. We're going to need some flour, some oil, grated cheese, tomato puree and some water. We're also going to use a dessert spoon. For one flatbread, we're just going to need four dessert spoons of flour, two dessert spoons of oil and two dessert spoons of water. Now really you want your mixture to be able to go into a bowl, so if it's too wet add more flour, if it's too dry add more water. Then use your hands to combine all the mixture together into a bowl. We're then going to use a knife and finely chop our wild garlic. Then we're going to add the wild garlic straight in with the dough. And then we're going to mix it all together. Once your dough is in a ball with the wild garlic in it, we're then going to lay it on the table and roll it flat. So next we're just going to cut a nice circle like so. We're going to take our tomato puree, just put it on one half. And then we're just going to sprinkle our cheese as well. And then I'm going to fold it over, press it down at the edges so it holds firm. All there is left to do is to place them on a grill over the hot coals of a campfire. It's probably best to cook these slowly, giving the dough time to cook thoroughly and also allowing the cheese plenty of time to melt. It's a really delicious snack to make in the woodland with your foraged wild garlic. Hope you found this useful. Happy foraging, happy cooking, have a great woodland adventure.